It's a problem that's troubled Iowa Governor Terry Branstad for a long time. This is a critical issue for this whole region, and we want to see uh, more attention given to the Mississippi River. Uh, they have done some things in the Ohio River and other places, but we think it's overdue and needs to be addressed. But Branstad is not alone with his concern. I would tell you with 20 locks and dams, uh, that is a majority on the upper Mississippi River. We've, we all know how critical the Mississippi River is to the local economy, the national economy. Uh, it's likely that there would be a, a strong federal consideration of uh, appropriations in this region. Some believe that money should be secured to expand the lock and dam chambers. It would provide a second lock chamber. So I mentioned a one-way street. If our lock goes down, that's it. You're done. There's no detour. We haven't been able to find any detours, and we're not going to. But if we had two chambers, if one chamber goes down, we would have the ability to continue to pass traffic. Any changes to the lock and dam system can only be made if there's a cost share system in place. We partner with a largely a non-federal sponsor, a state sponsor, and there's a cost share. Well, the cost share component of, it, of doing major rehabilitations or major or improvements on the system, it comes from basically the fuel tax uh, from the barge industry and it is, goes into an account called the Inland Waterway Trust Fund. Now it's just a matter of waiting to secure funds to make improvements to the system. Derek Frank, KHQA News, Hannibal.